Good morning and welcome to the Auction Pit AM Volatility Report. I'm Mark Sebastian. And reminder, this is for education purposes only. None of this should be construed as investment advice. Consult your financial professional. Uh, hey, I want to remind everybody we've got this event coming up. Options for long-term investing, trading, and hedging. If you're an investor that uses options, if you're setting up, if your person sets up long-term or longer-term trades, uh, or if you're looking to learn how to hedge, this is the course for you. It's going to be great. Uh, and you go to optionpit.com slash long-term. Let's talk about the market. Well, a little bit of follow-through, but nothing huge. Uh, you've got the S&P up uh, about five. You've got the VIX down a touch. Uh, VIX options down some. And vol futures down a, a little bit. Uh, oil continuing its follow-through um, after... Mm -hmm really going from down big to uh, after really going down down big to now up since Friday. Um, oil is again continuing its long low slow climb volatility drop lower. Uh, it just simply is too uh, the vol is too expensive and it's gonna it's gonna tail off here. I'm expecting oil to, something like USO. I'm expecting to creep up about half a percent to one percent a day on average for the next month. Um, I just think that the, the push is going to be higher. Uh, you look at vol futures and volatility. You can see uh, UVXY, VXX. I'm expecting them to drop significantly lower over the time being. Uh, I think they could drop some, and uh, you could see. Uh, vol futures, you know, we certainly UVXY could be getting ready for a reverse split sometime in the next month or so. There's a real, real opportunity for that. Um, then as I review kind of everything else out there, uh, transpose continue to be higher by oil. Uh, Apple continues to be soft. You can see a lot of money that was flowing in there. Uh, kind of popped out a little bit, and there's news on when people are rolling over their phones and just all sorts of stuff that's not great for them. And really, all the tech names are off a little bit, Facebook included. Uh, Goldman, again, sandbagged earnings. This has been the theme of this earnings season is sandbag, sandbagged earnings. Um, Mayo Goldman is up nicely after reporting Disappointing earnings. JP Morgan up nicely after reporting disappointing earnings. Uh, Morgan Stanley, you name it. Wells Fargo, they're all up on quote unquote disappointing earnings. Well, this is because everybody was ready for even worse. When you sandbag earnings hard enough, uh, stocks can recover. And that's what we're seeing out of the financials. Uh, where are we seeing a little softness? We'll take a look at Netflix. They, uh, they are not having their best day. Now, the straddle was expecting like a $13 or $14 move. They're getting 11 right now. Move more overnight. Uh, and so Netflix, especially on the Amazon news and kind of disappointing earnings, not looking so hot. But uh, the financials continue to be big leaders uh, and continue to be ones that I like. Even the XLF ETF, which has its... Uh, it's not so awesomeness, if you look, has had a nice little run since I went on, uh, you know, since we chatted on uh, the 31st, it's up nicely to here. You can see a nice move, and, and really all the names are. Uh, so on the day, I think you're going to see more yesterday, just kind of the slow crawl lower. And the S&P slowly crawling higher. Uh, it's now above that 21 hard level that we were kind of watching out for. And that's going to be, I think, the way things trade for the time being is, is, you know, we may have slowness all the way up to 2130, 2135 as, as the S&P potentially breaks records. All right, folks, if you have questions, you can email me, marketoptionpit.com. You can call me 888-TRADE-01. Have a good one.